Hi folks, uh, today we're going to change the oil on our CLK 430 and the first thing you do is get it up on a couple of stands which we've done and the next thing we're going to do is take off the shroud underneath the car here the bolt there and there's a bolt up the back there, look there and just four 10mm bolts and uh, so we'll take that off okay <laughs> bad start the, the the bolts are actually 8mm sockets so uh, there you go the little trays out yeah now I'm going to undo the uh, sump plug here I'll put a drain tray underneath it and drain the oil out I uh, took the car for a run around the block just to warm the oil up a bit and make it flow a bit better I'm just going to go and have a cup of coffee while it drains the last bit of oil out of it. Right, this stuff is uh, synthetic oil and I don't know if they can recycle that but I'll, I'll give it to them anyway to get rid of it. Okay, I've given the sump a bit of a clean and this uh, tray here a bit of a clean. Next I'm going to remove this uh, oil filter housing here and I've got a special tool for it to do it because I could see somebody already has got multi-grips or something and gone around it and uh, been plastic and all or whatever it's made out of it's uh, I don't want to damage it anymore um, this car has the big plastic air filter thing I much prefer if it was uh, metal like all the old cars but I reckon plastics go brittle over time Anyway, I'm just going to spring it to have a look while I'm here. I don't need to undo it because my oil fill, fill is there and my filler hole is there. But I'm going to spring it off anyway, just to have a look. Well, nothing really much to look at here, is there? <laughs> just all uh, intake manifold and everything and the air intake up there. And uh, so anyway, I'll plow ahead. I'll just give it a wipe over while I've got the cover off and now I'm going to pull off that uh, oil filter. There's my old oil, oil filter, it just slides up this stem here. Now in this kit that comes with this, it doesn't come with a washer for your sump like other ones do, so I just reverse the stump washer and, uh, and also it comes with these uh, O-rings, there's one there, one there and one up there and one here, the big one. So what you do is you change those O-rings and put your new filter on. Here we go. Yep, anyway, change the big O ring up here, the one down here, the one there, and the little one at the end. Um, they say put a bit of oil on them. I don't think I need to, there's so much oil floating around here, even though I've given it a wipe over. So now I'm going to slide the filter on. When you slide the filter on, see it's got two lines. The top line is supposed to be up here somewhere and you've got to keep twisting the filter around until you get that up, other line up there so you're only showing one line. I'm sort of nilly there but it's a top, bloody hard fit, my god. Twisting around. Anyway, I'll keep going. Okay, I've shoved the oil filter back on and now we tighten it up with the tension wrench. 25 newton meters. Not much. Okay, now I'm going to put this uh, oil in the car. It's 100% uh, synthetic and uh, mobile 1, 0 to 40. And I must say this stuff is not cheap, but it's good news that you only have to change it every 10,000 kilometres. So I'll put this one in. I've got another one to top it up uh, to get it up to the 8 point something litres. Now, uh, don't overfill the engine. It's a big no-no not to overfill the engine. And here we go. Okay, the, uh, the oil's registering about halfway up the dipstick. What I'm going to do now is run the engine a little bit just to make sure the sump plug's not leaking or the filter's not leaking. And uh, then lower the car and uh, put the uh, shroud thing back on underneath the car and just get it level and uh, check the oil again then. Okay, the car's down on a level surface now. So what I'm going to do is just top the oil up, the remainder, and make it just just under the full, so it's not over full. 
Okay, while we're here, we check the uh, washer water level, the power steering oil level, and the radiator and the brake levels while we're at it. Okay, we're going to uh, reset our um, service indicator. Put the key in the ignition to uh, number two, and uh, there's the exceeded service by three days sign. Bring up your service thing here. Push the button and hold it, uh, R button, and it'll come up. Do you want to reset the service button? And you push that R button again, and then it's gone back service B in 15,000 kilometers. Uh, this took a couple of goes. I don't know why I didn't want to register, but anyway, finally it's registered. And that's about it for an oil change on a, what is it, CLK 430. Bye for now.